are here at FT New Jersey. Uh, the guys have done uh, a couple of upgrades to the car. Uh, done alignment, uh, now going for testing. Yeah, just gotta throw it down and see what happens and Matthias can tell you more about what upgrades they have done and everything. So, excited to finally test the FT car again. Can you tell us a little bit about the upgrades we have done? Yeah, the upgrades. What upgrades? Or changes. Yeah, we have uh, done some maintenance on the car. Uh, we have checked the roll clearances and we have retorqued the head. Uh, we have some softer springs in the rear. Testing. Yeah. Um, we have switched position on the e-brake. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can match the Norwegian drift build. In the Norwegian car, we have built the car with the handbrake closer to the wheel. If you need to do a change or uh, what they call it? What? What they called? Uh, e-brake? E yeah, e-brake. For e faster e-braking. Yeah, for faster e-braking. We have uh, wanted to have it closer to the wheel. Ah. Or a steering wheel, if you like. Yeah. Closer to the steering wheel. So we have the position here and then we have handbrake and then shifter. Before we had the shifter here to pull. But on the Norwegian car we changed it. So now we can go from steering wheel and straight here to e-brake. Uh, since we have a sequential shifter we don't need to... It's easier to uh, get the gear and ride so now we want to have it this here. So we have customized it a little bit, but uh, I think it's gonna work perfectly. Now the Euro car and the FD car is 100% identical in the office. So that's good. Let's test this. Woo! Woo! Uh Testing is done. What'd you feel? It was not bad. It was good. I think it was definitely good for both of us since we we're always uh, driving tracks for FD and not really getting time to throw the car around and do some different things just to kind of see where the limits are. So overall, I think you found some things. I found some things. I think it was a good test day for sure. And huge thanks to Chris for letting us uh, be able to use this awesome place. But uh, I think it was definitely solid. There's not more to say from here then. Yeah. We took it all. Uh, yeah, it's been a phenomenal test day here. Uh, finally being able to play with the car and just throw it in there and see what the limits are. So uh, we tested some new spring rates, new alignment stuff, so the car feels good, hooked up. So that's yeah, good. It looks good too. Thanks. So. You too. So uh, yeah. You guys look good as well. Thank you, Johan. You too. You look good working. So it's a wrap for today, uh, now it's back to the shop, uh, take a new alignment just to see if everything is still where it should be after testing. Um, besides that, a uh, huge shout out to Chris for letting us play here, uh, use the shop and everything. Uh, you are a phenomenal person to, that helps us out every year we come here. and. Besides that as well, uh, yeah, car runs good, so uh, I think this is gonna be a good event. Uh, for now, it looks like it's coming some rain. Um, we did good in the rain here last year, so I actually kind of stoked if it gets rain because I feel confident in the rain. But uh, we'll take it whatever comes our way and uh, try to get try to get some good results this time. So really excited.
This, I mean, the light's good here. Yeah, but Look at the this light. side is much better. Yeah, I know. That's you're you're lit on this side, and then you're backlit. This is good. <laughs> Can you stop dying of COVID? <laughs> So, uh, we're now watching Prospect. Today has gone pretty good, I think. Or, in my opinion, it has been a good day. So, uh, yeah. Excited for tomorrow. We have early qualifying, so that means no uh, surface changes uh, and stuff like that. So, qualifying should be in the daytime. And uh, I like daytime better than nighttime. So, yeah, excited for tomorrow. The car is good, so uh, that's a lot of so. So, 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 yeah, watching Prospect, they're doing a phenomenal job, so, so. Let's make a hyper cut. I don't know this editor, but make a hyper cut of just the so's. So, so, uh, so, 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 so. No, it's uh, feeling good. The car is hooked up for once, uh, like it's been this season. But uh, I finally starting to trust the car and the tires, getting used to it. So that that's an improvement for me as well. I'm just tomorrow in the warm up try to send it a little bit harder, be more patient in the. Uh, transitions and try to be in the zone from the beginning of the zone and from there we're just gonna take whatever comes our way maybe it rains maybe it doesn't but uh, we're gonna take it whatever there you go see, see how much better that was yep today is uh, qualifying day it starts, warm up starts in uh, an hour or so. Now, finally, I had had a couple of nights with good sleep, so we're ready. Ready to throw down. Jonathan had a little accident last night or yesterday. Uh, the team has helped him out fixing the car uh, as good as we can. And my car is all good. Looking forward to this. I'm feeling the nerves, I'm feeling the pressure. Um, yeah, it is what it is, but uh, we take it either way. So, let's go. Let's see what the Americans are having for breakfast. It was until, <laughs> until recently. What are we having for breakfast? It's a great American breakfast, Chick fil A. Sweet Chick fil A. Biscuits with fried. And sweet sauce. Don't forget there's sweet sauce on it. Chick fil A sauce. Teeth. Good? Yeah. Really good. And soaked up. Do you want half of a chicken biscuit? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Well, this is the breakfast of champions. Oh. <laughs> Why are you eating that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would have almost been funny, but I already seen it coming. Oh. <laughs> good one, bro. I tried. Yeah. You nailed it. That's really good for Simon. For Simon. <laughs> Simon. Huh? Simon. 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 Uh, these uh, these next drivers, Simon Olsen, coming to us from Norway as well. He's the Norwegian Drift Championship. One of the two JZ under the hood. That HGK body kit on here, coming sliding into that first outside zone. Just dips that back left in. Now see if we can set both those back too with a boost race fuel flowing through the veins. Now coming into the inside clip, Doing a squat on that super looking great. Nose back down, so you can see the half of the car when he comes off the throttle. But when that nose is up, you know he's turning to burn it. So good job there from Simon Olson. We are nearing the completion of our first run, Simon Olson. So 
Ryan, with uh, knowing that Josh Reynolds is unable to run, we have literally three more drivers left. So that's uh, that's good for sign with that 24, that upper 70s. It's been a couple of hectic uh, hours. Uh, did our qualifying straight to driver's meeting and then autograph session. Uh, I was actually very happy with my qualifying run. Uh, it was a little bit uh, off in the initiation. Uh, wasn't very good, but I thought myself I picked it up quite good after that. Um, but after watching the run, uh, there's definitely some mistakes, but I was very happy with it. I um, think maybe it was very go. strict. I tried. Um, maybe a little bit strict on the judges end of the... Yeah, a little bit strict maybe. But we take it. It's the first race of the season where we are not in the bottom eight. So that's an improvement for sure. Uh, besides that, uh, a 79 uh, leaves us in 25th position. Uh, we definitely want to be better than that, but it is what it is. We're in the mix for tomorrow. Uh, and once again, we are facing Frederick Osborne. Uh, we have done that two or three times before. Um, like we always say, he's a good friend, he's a good driver, he is the best, still the championship leader, but he. We can overcome that, maybe. We're definitely giving everything we can. And uh, yeah, it's not getting anything for free uh, from us. So I'm going to do some homework, uh, study a lot of the runs today, see what I can do for to improve, and figure out what it takes to knock out Frederick. I think it's a wrap for today. Uh, we are going to watch uh, Prospects Top 32 and uh, then probably go early to bed, be staying healthy, drink a lot of water and uh, be ready for tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. It's still going, but uh, we are fighting some issues with the car. It's like the feeling of it is like it's out of fuel. Uh, it leans out somehow. Uh, we got some uh, engine shutdown error code, something. Uh, Matthias is working on it right now. Uh, a little bit sketchy because we don't know why or what's causing the problem. Uh, taking out a little bit of confidence right now before the qual uh, not qualifying but before the competition so not very stoked on that uh, but uh, we did a kind of good chase uh, but strug still struggling a little bit in the in the lead position and also uh, it was a little bit of rain so it was wet and patchy That's interesting as well. Um, besides that, we did actually we have gained some more grip on it. We took out, uh, or we took off the sway bar in the back, so it has lots of grip. Uh, maybe that will help us. We turn down the boost a little bit uh, to be able to be more on throttle throughout the zones. Maybe that will help us. But right now it's a little bit sketchy. Um, the clutch is also uh, starting to wear out. Um, I don't think we have enough time to swap that before the pump. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I just want a clean battle with no failure, and nothing, no one going off track or doing uh, weird shit. So just hope it could be a fair match, and I really want to beat beat Frederick. That would be awesome. So, uh, 
let's hope we can get the car in shape before uh, competition. It's one hour, so the clock is ticking. Um, do you find anything? Looking, looking, looking. to do it a little bit as All well. Right. Okay, cool. Oh, just so, helping you out. Yeah. Just helping you out. I'll, I'll, like, I'll help you drive. I'll do a couple runs for you. Yeah. <laughs> I fun. thought that if I will pick up the camera a little bit, maybe the invoice will be a little bit less. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not getting away of them. They have... They just have an hour them as well. Uh, Jonathan is on the later side of the bracket so he has a little bit more time we are the third battle so it's getting hectic for us but let the guys work and do their job and it should be fine welcome out to e-town look at this this is where the beautiful greens of the garden state of new jersey meets the pavement and the drift coliseum the figure eight the crazy eight it's going down here at e-town First opening ceremony of 2022 for me, so feels good. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a car right here. We are fighting some Dreamlands, but uh, my guys will have the car ready for Tougher 2, and uh, Frederick, Frederick Osbo is going to get hard competition. So we're going to throw it down and see what we can do. It's gripped up, and we are ready to go. Make some noise for Boost, boost fuel, fuel Zone. That is Simon Olsen. The Frederick Osbo, Simon Olsen, two Norwegian drivers, two Supras, uh, both brand new, but uh, one rocking that six engine the six cylinder versus the 2j or the both six cylinder, but you know what i mean uh as again the 2j and the actual oe engine that comes in the all-new toyota supra but uh osbo and olsen two norwegians two brand new supras this should be a fun battle and you know what this is this is where to be honest osbo has got to be a little bit nervous i mean he's confident with the craft getting it done but with just something that small right it's, it's always we'll it's turn always the car that, off it's all yeah don't turn the car off it's always that dollar part he wants to get through this battle but simon olsen would absolutely be, be elated if he got through and a lot of other drivers would be elated taking down this giant of uh, frederick Osman, norwegian hammer all right oh and so, simon olsen on initiation shuts her down the boost race fuel toyota super shuts it down on initiation frederick osbo continues on through the course Right on that inside clip, and now coming to that final outside zone. Looks like the car's definitely got power, just didn't have power for a moment. It's definitely an expensive paperweight there for, for about four and a half minutes. Unfortunate there for Simon Holson as soon as he initiated. Running right. It's, it's shuts down, so I, I'm out. I'm out. I have signed. You want to do five and look at it? No, there, there's nothing I can do. We're tried, we had changed spark plugs, coils, uh, fuel filter, everything. There, there's not more we can do. So, we, I'm sorry. So, yeah.
Yeah. No, that one hundred percent. We, un we unplugged it just to be yeah, sure, yeah. and it still does that weird right. shit. So, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, they're one hundred percent done. Fuck. Damn. I was looking forward to this. Yeah, I mean, you did good here last year for sure. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Damn it. Well, Let us know how it goes. sorry guys. Simon, can you tell us what's happening? Uh, we are fighting some gremlins with a car. Uh, it immediately when I get boost pressure, it's just shut down. Uh, we can't find anything errors with the car, so uh, we're not sure. We changed spark plugs, spark plugs, uh, coils, fuel filter, everything. So I'm not sure what it is. My guys has pushed hard to figure it out in time, but uh, there's something off. So back to the drawing board. Jared. Thank you so much, Lorette. Yeah, so Simon's just calling it. He's saying, look, they, they've tried to remedy everything and it's just not working out. They're not even they're not even gonna use a competition timeout. That's just how far gone it is. So Frederick Oswa pulls right back to the line, and this will be essentially a buy run for him. He will advance on, so he just has to go through the course. So I'll tell you what, Stefan got one heck of a lucky break there. It just sucks. Can't figure out what the gremlins are. Um, as soon as uh, floor it and the boost pressure builds up, it's just start to hiccup and shut down. It's just sucks so bad. I really wanted that battle. I was ready to go. Uh, it's a strong contender, but. Uh, we felt we absolutely had an open chance to beat him. Uh, yeah, what can I say? So frustrating. It's just like... This is my life and we put so much work into this and it's coming down to a tough season like this. Didn't start at all, now we have four races down and uh, actually no result. So, uh, yeah. But it's racing, it's, it is what it is. Uh, we're not giving up. We need to figure out what the gremlins are and uh, see what we can do about it. Uh, yep, yeah. no words. New Jersey is my favorite track, so it would be very fun to get some good results here. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry guys, but uh, we'll come back swinging soon.